Hello, and welcome to Planetas and Courses. I'm James Dunsmore. This is the first chapter of Intermediate SketchUp for Planners, Part 1. In this chapter, I'll provide a brief overview of the course and discuss what you will learn, as well as why you might consider taking the course. This course will introduce you to some of the really unique and exciting features of SketchUp, from geolocation and integration with Google Earth to video animation. I'll tell you how to use these features and more, and explain their application for planners. For this course, I'll be using the free version of SketchUp 8, which you'll see on screen during the course. Throughout this course, I'll teach you not just how to use SketchUp, but when you might want to apply it. When you have access to other design programs, you often might wonder why should you use SketchUp. One reason is because it's easier and faster for creating, creating quick productions. As its name suggests, it's for quickly drawing ideas. And while you can use it for creating final renderings, it's extremely useful for thinking through a design, not just illustrating one. SketchUp can help you answer questions like, how will this project look from surrounding parcels? And what will the pedestrian experience be like? The next two chapters will cover geolocation. I'll explain what that means and show you how to integrate your model with Google Earth to import location-specific data, such as topography. You'll learn how to use geolocation to conduct location-specific analysis of proposed development, such as measuring the shadow impacts of a new building. I'll also demonstrate how to import models of real-world buildings into your model. In chapters 4 and 5, I'll show you how to create larger and more complicated models, and how to use SketchUp's layer functions to keep your model organized. I'll also show you how to import other elements into your model, including components from other models you've already created. In the final chapter, I'll demonstrate how to create video representations of your models using SketchUp's animation functions. After completing this course, you'll be able to take full advantage of SketchUp's geolocation functions, build larger and more complicated models, and create video walkthroughs of your models like the ones you've seen here. This course is meant for users with basic familiarity with the software. If you've not used the program before, you should consider taking the introductory SketchUp course for planners first. If you're ready to take your SketchUp skills to the next level, then I'll hope you join me in the next chapter.